Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm going to play a match in which I play the Britons against a very hard AI opponent with a random civilization on the map called Magadha. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a war dog rush. So at the start I'll be a bit silent because there's a lot of things to do. I build two women, put them on wood. I put this thing on sheep, the dog. I'll put them somewhere else. The women, they need to go to food. Oh, those are not women. So I'm going to build a storehouse here and put the women on it. The other four, however, they're going to go to this wood line. Um, I put the thing here. This needs two women already. So I already... So I'm going to produce women in uh, groups of two. I put my dog to scout, so I'm going to scout it a bit. There are women being produced. I'm going to research wicker baskets at the start. At my hotkey 1, I have my civic center. Um, at hotkey 2, I have the farmstead and the workshop. And at 3, there will be like structures. So I'm going to send one woman to there. And I'm already going to build a new woman. I want to build two women at the same time. And it's time to build a house already. Um, so we're going to use five women's women to do that. And I built another two women. So at this phase, the most important thing is um, to build up a good economy. So I build up a lot of women. There are houses now. I'm going to say if I can build another house. Because you want I want to prevent to get housed. Oh, and now I should put women on um, chopping trees again. Um, so my food income is good. Um, I'm growing very aggressively. That's good. I'm going to put a single woman now on building because that's that is more efficient to do. Um, and let's see if we can already go build a barracks or a stable. Um, oh, I'm doing a war dog rush. So that means I um, need to build uh, this already early. I want to get stables and I want to get food. So at the moment I have 25. There's one woman building a house. I'm going to make another woman building a house. Because I want to get those war dogs out. But I don't. I want to keep growing. And I will be using especially women to, to, to grow. Alright, so there's a woman being attacked. And I don't know where. Ah, there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to everyone attack the rhino. And now, things have been done. I hope I didn't lose too much women, of course, but, uh, well, you, you never know. All right, so that was, um, oh, let's see if I can get the wood upgrade. No, I'm going to make two women. Can I build a farm? No, not yet. Like a stable, I want stables. Uh, that's wood. I can get a woodcut upgrade and the farming upgrade. I need both of those. So then I can comfortably um, build women now uh, because I have a lot uh, enough food going in. Um, so it's really time to make a farm now. There we have a farm. I'll bring make her bring back her wood. Um, yeah, and focus on uh, wood cutting. And b now it's mostly collecting. Uh, yeah, sending people to to mine and um, building farms. So let's see, you can already build something, so 90 foot. So now I'm going to wait until I have that 90 wood. I'm going to build that stable, and I'm going to build those war dogs. I do keep producing women. I, I'm, I'm really going to build a lot of women, uh, because, well, I do have the food for it. Um, stable, put it here. And then I just keep so the stables I put on four 
on hotkey 4. I like that hotkey to, to, to use. Gonna get a wood upgrade, wood cutting upgrade as well. Um, and we definitely need to build houses. And they're gonna put a bit more of people on housing because now I'm housed. Uh, that's clearly bad. Um, but I can put a woman to build a farmland. First, I'm gonna make a return her food, her wood. Uh, let's see, this woman is doing nothing. I'm gonna make her build a house as well and put on farming. So now I have this and now it's time to build war dogs. So I'm gonna build eight. So I've had enough food to build eight war dogs and now I will uh, continue doing, doing building those war dogs. Um, while growing ruthlessly. Um, I'm also going to build another stable. So I can build even more war dogs. I put both on four. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flood the, op the computer opponent with war dogs. Um, also, I'm going to put more women on f on food. So I have three women here. I'm going to make them build a farmland. And it's mostly about keeping the war dog production up. Yeah, so I'm building farmlands. I also want to buy another stable because I really want to rush. I really want to hit the opponent hard. And now it's time to put these women on food. And we need to pick a new wood line. So I'm going to put these women on that wood line as well. Yeah, so now I'm just going to send these war dogs to the opponent and see what happens. Um, and I'll be constantly building uh, war dogs from now on. Uh, yeah, so when these are all done, I want them to mine here. And now it's sending in those war dogs. So there, my war dogs are doing a great job at uh, taking out the opponent. So apparently it's the Chinese, uh, the Han Chinese. And I'm just going to send the war dogs wherever they are most annoying. And I keep doing that. I keep building up um, war dogs uh, until, um, well, uh, basically all the time. After a while, the, comp the, the AI will lose interest. Um, and then it's, it will be very easy to, to crack it. So already I can't build. Uh, all right, so the war dogs are gone now. And that really doesn't concern me. I'm going to make them attack again. And maybe it is time to go into So maybe it's time to build a barracks now because I feel I have enough food. Um, I'm gonna put another stable in. So now I have four stables. Oh four stables at hotkey three, four, one barracks at hotkey three. Um, and let's uh, let's produce. So let's see what my war dogs are doing. They're doing a great job, like usual. 
Uh, and that's the great thing about war dogs. You can just continuously send them in and uh, not bother about them. Um, so now food is running a bit more low. So I need 10 women. Um, I'm going to put these women and I'm going to make them another plot of... Oh, I'm going to put them here. So I can go up, I will do that, and it's time to build more war dogs. So at the moment I have nine war dogs, I'm going to send them in here. So I'm, I'm avoiding the civic center, but just putting them here at the front, they will do their thing. They're, they're very nice units to have. Um, I'm going to build another stable, because... Uh, And I'm going to build more women. Um, so with, so now I've gone up. Um, so now it's time for these to look for another wood line. Uh, I'll use, I'll use this wood line because it's it's annoying me because I I, I can't see what's going on there. So let's make some war dogs. Um, they are doing God's work. Yeah, and now, um, and because now I'm up, I can um, I can make everything stronger. So that's great. So here there are new war dogs. I'm gonna send them more to there and now it's time to build other units um, because I want to build gather other resources now so if I'm going to send out uh, a couple of slingers and all these people um, I will be able to gather those resources um, I also need a market um, and uh, because I'm going to steal the initiative um, here I'm also going to build other units than you would expect. Um, like I've ha I have enough women now, um, but because of my war dogs, I like I've I do have the initiative, and the war dogs will do will do good good job at keeping the enemy away. So the AI doesn't. Um, I will basically bleed out the AI, um, and that is uh, great for me. And the so forge to get stronger units. So now the problem is food again. So I have 31 on food. So these women, I'm going to put those on food as well. There's a food upgrade for 17 metal. I'm going to take that one. So I, so my food will go in even quicker. So a market is being built, and I'm going to use that to steal. Um, I'm going to use the market to steal the initiative and trade out a lot of food and wood for metal and stone, because metal and stone is, is rare. Uh, it's, it's harder to get. Um, I do want that forge going up. Pum, pum. And send in some, some war dogs. So apparently I only have nine left. Um, yeah, so I want this forge. I put this forge on five. I put the market on five. And there my war dogs go in. And let's see where they do their, they do, do their work of magic. Um, I built five more and one, two, three, four, five. So of course the war dogs get killed, but notice that I don't care too much about them. I just sent them in and the AI will will be damaged and that is that is great for me. Um, I'm gonna trade the wood for metal and stone because metal and stone are are harder to get. I'm going to research everything I can from the forge. 
So when I build my soldiers, like I'm already gradually building up soldiers, I want them to be strong uh, so I don't throw them away. So I do need uh, there, and then go back to the wood. Yeah, so priority always is to build dogs. So now I'm going to send them more to here. Oh, there's a war dog. Ah, oh, there's a good bunch there. So I'm going to use the. I'm going to send these war dogs via the side. Like, and I should always be producing units. S um, you probably know that, but, uh, well, and no one is perfect in that. So next goal would be to go up again. And for that I need stone. So um, And I will um, start building caravans. Oh, I don't want my war dogs to attack the civic center. Yeah, so I let my war dogs wreak havoc. Uh, and, uh, well, they are great units. Now, for example, hanging out at uh, the marketplace of the opponent is a good idea. Um, because they will kill traders, and uh, well, you don't like it. you want traders to be gone. So there's a woman there. So I'm gonna make them. Um, all right, back to unit production. Tuck tuck. Um, so it also starts looking that it's getting time to expand. So this needs city phase. Oh. So to go to city phase, I need stone. To need stone, that's there. And then, uh, could I? Ex oh, I, of course, I can trade for stone. Duck, duck. So let's see where are my war dogs. I'm going to send my war dogs there, and then they do their do their work. So I need stone to go up. So that's what I need to focus on. Um, well, I can just buy stone, for example. And now I need 100 stone more. I can buy that, and now I can go up. And I need that because I want the farmer upgrade again. Um, so let's see. I have 40 women on stone now. Um, My economy is doing well. Um, I do need more war dogs. So the war dogs didn't find any juicy targets. Um, I'm not housed. I'm going to prevent that I will be housed by building more houses. Oh, there's also the house upgrade that I should research. Uh, because I have a lot of women, I will also research loom. So we're just um, booming. Of course, I should keep making war dogs. That is very important for this strategy. Um, and I feel now it's time to expand. And to expand, I want more food income, and I want the woodcutter upgrade, and I want all those fancy things. Now, um, let's see, can we expand? So we'll expand, let's say, so for that we need a bit more wood, but we can already go there um, and, ex and expand there. Uh, but don't forget to make dogs and send them in. Oh send all of them in. I'm going to put the dogs on the hotkey 9 um, and I'm going to make them go in sideways and do their work. So it was a bit sloppy of mine to not have these, that this constant pressure uh, by the dogs. 
Mm -hmm. So I need to expand here. Do I have, well, the wood will be on the way. But it would be a good idea to take a look. Hey, a catafalque. So a catafalque gives you a bonus. Um, you want that, but I'm, uh, ideally I now first want to expand. So I'm just going to buy that wood. Um, so I can put this thing there close to the metal. Uh, it will it will be nice for me. So my dogs have found some computer uh, like opponents. That is great. I'm just going to let them scour uh, the computer and uh, uh, harass. Uh, that's what they were doing. So let's see, stone is good, metal is good. Um, now it's time to put some more people on the wood. Uh, and it's time to get champions out. I um, also want some champion horse people. I want all the upgrades. Um, dogs, uh, like all the dogs. I can't make more than the dogs I have now. But this is a great place for my dogs to be. Uh, attacking trade caravans, so I definitely want want them there. Um, yep. So all the dogs are there, uh, but I want them here to attack the trade caravan. So I put them there. Um, I have to make units, of course. So make some more dogs. I make some regular builders. I want 40 wood and then I'm going to focus on, on other type of units. Up the building upgrade. So that's good. So I can house more people without building that stuff. Um, and it's time to build catapults, of course. So in the end, uh, you can build a lot of units. But siege weapons are way, way nicer are way more effective at, at, at killing the opponent's buildings. So I want 40 on wood. So I want 40 on wood. Wait, I'll use both up. I just combine them. I want 40 people on wood, well, so this is good. I want at least 40, 20, 20. That, that more or less gives a good economy, so. Right, let's get the war dogs in. There, 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 there. Uh, note that I only have one barracks. Uh, this is maybe a bit of a mistake. All right, time to build a wonder. Um, with a wonder you can build more units, but I don't have too much units at all, so it's time to build barracks. Now I'm now I've had it and and being this slow, like my dogs are doing great. Um, but we need to get some barracks out so we can like really smash the opponent uh, with a lot of units. So now I have don't have stone. I need people to work on stone, so I know that there's stone there. So I'm going to put all the barracks on here. So barracks, barracks, barracks. Barracks should be on three. And I want my stables to be on four. Four. Right, and all the barracks should go here to collect stone. I want these to help out and then go back again. Yeah, so now production is going up. Um, the forge is doing its thing. That's good. I have all the upgrades already. In the houses, I don't need the upgrades. I'm going to put a catapult. Uh, my catapults, I put them on here. And uh, battering rams, I mean, and I'll make it as much as I can. Don't forget to make more dogs. 
So the maximum population size is 300. And then you see, you say, yeah, but, but Richard, why uh, do you build that wonder so early? Well, the answer is simple, because I, because I had the money. Like additionally, also I want a fortress, and I put that at the front. I put that at the front line somewhere, maybe here. Um, and I don't care about the fortress on its own. I mostly care about what it does. And uh, there's an upgrade called Will to Fight, and I want that upgrade. So that is why. Alright, so also the temple, I should put that on 5 as well. Um, because it's also time uh, to make... Uh, to, to make some priests or healers as they're called here all right making dogs sending these in to here and let's see all right so my army is nicely balanced um, it's good enough um, it's time to go trading between me and me so I'll make a Make a market here. You go back, and then I let I go s do self trading. I make this market go here, and then I build uh, caravans. So trading is important uh, uh, because in the end your resources will uh, will, will bleed out. And when your resources bleed out, then training is the only way uh, that you can uh, keep on uh, that you can keep on having uh, like income. I, I'm just going to click this upgrade so it's gone. Like it's uh, this is very lazy of me, maybe. All right, we have some people that we're going to set to work, so we're going to put them here. Work on this metal. So now it's just basically building. Like I'm gonna build this hero. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a hero that also heals uh, or helps heal uh, my people. So I like that. I like I like it when um, when my people are healed. That's a bit of my that's that's my play style. So. So yes, please heal uh, heal my friendly units. I'm going to capture this catafalque. Um, I want a hero. Um, yeah, because it's time to make heroes. Because now I think I've had most of the upgrades. We need more people on metal, so I'm going to put some people on. Yeah, this is this is going great. So here we can put some people on metal. And the women I'm going to put back on farming. So my population size is going good. The fortress is up. Let's see, can I buy will to fight? For that I need metal. Well, I can buy a lot of metal and stone. So after all this trading, I only need food for that. And for this, I need food. Right, so I'm gonna get some more food in. So just looking by wh where the war dogs are now, it seems that the opponent is now bled dry. So I'm just gonna take a quick tour. Um, so that's very great for me that I just m bled the opponent dry whereas I am doing great so I'm mostly training these kind of units um, these are like strong fighters for one for, for the civic centers they're gonna make like woodcutters 
Um, so I guess know that I uh, lack woodcutters at the moment, but I like it where my people have something to do. So I can only build one dog because, well, all of them are quite active. So what's that? That's a blue line, or that's that's me. That's great. These men need metal, so there's metal there. So I'm gonna build a civic center here to get that metal. Um, that's quite aggressive, you would say. I agree. I just in its in its face, I'm gonna make those civic centers because I'm 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 clearly winning. All right, so let's get the traders to the right spot. Sometimes traders get lost, so, that, so let's fix that. Uh, women. So women are going to farm. I'm going to make a, a little sub-farm where they can do their thing in peace. Uh, build more of those. Mm -hmm. So now it's... So I need some food, mostly. So if I see women, I'm going to put them on food. Here we have three women. So what are my dogs doing? They are there. Um, they appear to have a, a relatively simple time here. They, they they moved around the map and, and so on. So, so it appears that the enemy is uh, is dead. Um, that's a well. So that means it's getting time to to do a, a, a stronger attack. But I don't like people doing nothing. So I'm gonna like and I, I don't like inefficient mining. So I'm just gonna put put people where I need them. Oh, oh, this is great. So this civic center is close to a wonder and due to that wonder you can build uh, more people. So you want that. Um, there, there. I'm going to put everyone to go to there. I'm going to build some healers. See, my dogs have met some resistance. That is good. Um, these are chariots, and uh, maybe I'm gonna put those with my dogs. I don't know. I don't know. Um, first get the first get those traders back in line, and we're gonna make uh, quite some traders to get that, to get that steady income. Like we both lead, so we don't need wood anymore. So. We can just reduce uh, the amount of wood, the amount of food. We don't need it. We want mostly metal and iron to be traded. So that's why I put it like that. And now we, uh, my units are definitely doing that. So what are the war dogs doing? They're there. Yeah, so I'm going to make them go around again. Let's see, now I've got most of the upgrades. And I think now it's time to move out. Like, no need to uh, delay anymore. So this will be my main army. Oh, that's the dogs, the dogs. This will be my main army, and I'm just going to put it there. I'm going to just go oh I'm going to capture this tower that's that's what I'm going to do I'm going to capture that tower um. yeah and I predict uh, so now I have that tower I'm just going to research everything so I don't see it anymore and I don't need to click on it anymore um, and now it's time to call my war dogs in again. They'll be joining up with me where I am fighting. And the great thing about war dogs is that they they can't capture anything. So they will definitely only be 
uh, attacking. Oh, let's capture that tower as well, because I can. So I like to use this tower as, as like some kind of post to, to gather up. Um, yeah, let's let's put some there, some catapults as well. Mm, so this tower is mine, and and all right. So that explosion you just saw that indicates that there's some. Uh, it, it it's called a. I don't know exactly what the catapult is called, but it's a type of catapult that. Um, that uh, shoots fire. Yeah, well, I'm housed. That's a bit noobish of me. So I had some houses. It's like in the midst of battle. I, I think my men uh, will sort them out just fine. Let's take a look. Yeah, all right. So the Civic Center is down. Um, and uh, GG, I won. So let's take a look at the summary. Um, so I played a war dog strategy, um, so my score is going up exponentially where his is decaying, that's probably the influence of the war dogs. Like yes, I built a lot of structures, more than him, and at the end he was dead or given up living. They made units all the time, but how many did he have? You, you can't see that. Resources, so both of us, we were like tight at the start, so me, I was tight, you don't want to have too much resources at the end I just couldn't spend it anymore uh, and I think that's f that's for good reasons but because the opponent was already dead I just also couldn't needed to be did not need to be tight there uh, market mine went up exponentially I started trading late uh, but then I do it very aggressively where he built it up I did kill a lot of his uh, caravans my kill death ratio is, is good I assume this doesn't include the th this does include the war dogs, I guess. Um, so they are like kill death ratios will be a bit lower when you use war dogs, which because you, because you throw them away all the time. Uh, but still, it's above one. My population grew quite quick. Like in the end, I slowed down because I was housed. But that is well done. Uh, and yep, so this was it. So that means I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching and I wish you a good day. Bye.